occurred in Germany, in the Bundesliga, Atletico Madrid, Spain, Roma, Italy, Rio uh, Sociedad, Spain, the Monte, Spain, Montpellier, France, Siena, Italy, uh, Torino, Italy, Monaco, France, Fulham, England, Granada, Spain, Milano, Spain, Austin, Norway. So they, they've got a very, uh, very, very formidable team that we're going to play against. And obviously we're looking forward to this challenge. But like I said, I just wanted to share this little bit of information with you because we're in a situation now where the process has got to a much better stage. As I said, because the Czech tournament is for locally based players and we're going to be able to use all these guys. And then of course I've only got one date after that to prepare for the AFCON and that is in, in March, 6th of March. We've got a, our only one game for preparation for the AFCON. After that, so this game played against Morocco is a, is a fantastic game for us. Not only are we going to be able to get used to the conditions or see the conditions firsthand, we're going to be able to uh, have a look at a lot of players. So it's a two-fold thing. Some of the players, of course, will be involved in the, in the AFCON and a lot of the players, of course, will be involved in the in the uh, uh, tournament, so it was hugely important. So this is almost a preparation for the FCON as well. It's only available two dates, this particular date, and of course the, the 6th of March. For the Chen tournament, straight after this uh, this uh, challenge that we've got against Morocco, I will have November two dates, two FIFA dates in November to have two good matches against African opposition, and similar to the ones we're going to play in the Chen tournament. In December, I'll go to a camp for four days on the 27th to the 30th, when I can work with the players and also arrange a friendly game. And then on the January the 2nd, I'll have the players right through to the end of January. And of course, on the 5th of, uh, the 5th of January, a week before the first game, we play against Botswana on the 10th, in, in, I, mean, I mean against the Mozambique, at the first game in the Czech tournament. So I'm going to have sufficient time to prepare the team for the Czech tournament. And, and, and this game against Morocco, as I said, is twofold preparing for the AFCON and preparing and looking players for the for the um, the Chen tournament. So I think I'll just briefly try to fill you in where we're going from here. I believe this is obviously a completely new era in South African football because come 2018 and 2015 there's going to be a lot in actual fact if if fifty percent and sixty percent of these players and, and I've only mentioned a few when I under 17 and the 20 and the 23 teams start developing the players, there's going to be a lot more players. And of course, there's quite a few of the younger players that I've left out for this particular game, but you can't have them all in at once. So um, I think the way forward is looking very, very good. The future is looking great. And what I'm happy about is what we've been saying, you know, whenever I've done a press conference, there's always been a situation where I do this too quickly. But it's going to be a long process. Our master plan is going to be rigorously followed, vigorously. We're going to make sure that we make, continue with this development we've got. We're going to make sure that we produce the players. We're going to have the right coaches, the right departments, working together. Come 2015, for the Epic Cup of Nations, you're going to see a very, very young and exciting team. Because if these guys can progress over the next three years, <coughs> and gain the experience that is needed, and of course over the next four years to the 2018 World Cup, I think we're going to have a very formidable and young, young and exciting team. And as a, this development that people are talking about all the time, and especially us, doesn't happen overnight. And every time we try to impose it too quickly, we try to get it rushed along so we can keep everybody happy. But it's not going to happen like that. It's a process. But today is the start, I think, of a lot of very, very exciting things for South African football. And you'll see that now when I name the team. And I'm going to do that right now. <clears throat> so, the squad for uh, Morocco is like this. Tumalin Pune. I'm going to call out the ages as well, just so we can save you looking up. The Pune, 26 years of age. Here's the papers there for me. Okay. Rowan Williams, 21, Super Sport United. Darren Keat, 24, KV Kuijek, Belgium. Anelian Conker, 25, Racing Genk. Talun Tete, 28, Bluffetain Celtic. Ongani Komalo, 26, Doncaster Rovers. Tepo Masavela, 28, Kaiser Chiefs. Bule Nkawanazi, 23, Tux. Sian Tulu, 21, FC Rostov, Russia. Enforsi Nkle, 19, Petersburg, England. 
Carmelo Mococcio, 22, Zuri Holland, Bongani Zungu, 21, Memlari Sundowns, Sibo Siso Bulakazi, 23, Bitbis Bits, Ayandi Potosi, 20, Lauren FC in Belgium, David Clausen, 23, Lenz Polzan in Poland, Keegan Dolly, 20, AS Cape Town, Dean Furman, 25, Doncaster Rovers, England, Kahishia De Kachua, I can't even really pronounce it in English. The Kachua at KG for me, Crystal Palace, Renil Wilson and Yani, 31, Kaiser Chiefs, Larato Chubango, Rocco Swanos, 28, Tokila Ranchi, 23, Bournemouth, Kermit Erasmus, 23, Orlando Pirates, and Bernard Parker, 27, Kaiser Chiefs. So I just just briefly looking at when I was calling down this real last, I mean the whole midfield uh, is 22, 21, 23, 20, 23, 20, 25, 28, 31, and 28. So the balance is, is, is nicely. So I'm quite excited about this and a lot of, lot of very, very talented young players that are applying their trade in different parts of Europe and overseas. And that is the squad that will be uh, representing us from Europe.